welcome back to the Sheep Coat. This past summer, we celebrated 28 years to my high school sweetheart. 28 years of bliss. Well, maybe 20 years of bliss and eight years of eh. And I know what you're thinking, that poor girl. But if you've been married any length of time or spend years with someone else, you know that there are certain things that are off limits that you do not mention. These are things that when they're said, the glove is off. You've got nothing else you throw at them. It's that low blow. The one thing my wife knows I despise is being called a hypocrite. But we all have some hypocrisy in us, every single one of us, whether we like it or not. My wife's grandmother seemed to have a great gift idea for me every Christmas, and it was soap on a rope. Yes, a bar of soap attached to a rope. I wasn't really sure what this said about my hygiene. Maybe she thought I needed some help in that department. But I was always taught to be courteous and thankful. So what did I always tell her? Thank you, Nan. I so appreciate it. Now, you're trying to tell yourself, well, that's just being nice. But no, it's hypocrisy. And while that type of hypocrisy may not be that bad, just trying to not make somebody feel bad, there's a little hypocrisy in every one of us that we don't like, and it's when we become selfish. One of my biggest struggles in this land is the traffic. Living the majority of my life in a rural area, our biggest traffic jam was when the auction barn was closing on Tuesdays in Dewart. Not much of anything. Now my life is an absolute traffic jam. And most of you won't believe this, but I'm an aggressive driver. Yes, those that have driven with me are doubting it, but it's true. However, I'm also a courteous driver. I let people in, I wait my turn, I give thank you waves, all unheard of concepts in the Middle East. But with that being courteous, I want others to be courteous. Don't hold up traffic. And one of the things that drives me nuts in holding up traffic in this land is the bicycles. The bicycles get in the street, and they're not pedaling, obviously, as fast as a car. And people are slowing down and blowing their horn and trying to get out of the way. And I say to myself, why can't they just ride on the sidewalks and get out of the way? But another thing that can be crowded here is the sidewalks. And there's nothing worse than being on the sidewalk and having someone on a bicycle ride by you. You gotta move out of the way, you gotta worry that their handlebars are gonna hit you in the back, run into you. And I found myself saying, why can't they just ride on the street? See, it's my hypocrisy shining through. To me, it's all about me. I'm upset when I'm driving and they're not on the sidewalk. But when I'm walking, I'm upset that they're on the sidewalk and not in the street. We all do it. It's something that the real root of it is nothing more than just selfishness. It all has to do about me. We've got to stop this. Now, nobody wants to be known as a hypocrite. It's a very ugly word. It's the one Jesus slammed the Pharisees with so many times, including Luke 11.44. Woe unto you. Scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. He said, You're like dead men's bones inside. Outside you look good, but inside you are full of nothing but dead man's bones. And we live in a very selfish day and age. We live in a day of, of people portraying themselves something they are not. The day of hypocrites, of which I can be chief. And the only way I'm going to stop it is by stop thinking of myself and thinking of others. Destroying my selfishness and playing the hypocrite no more. I remember years ago when I pastored in the States being frustrated with problems and with people. And the Lord kind of thumped me upside the head when he let me know, when you start expecting out of yourself, what you expect out of your congregation, you won't have any more problems. Ouch.
yeah, not a real ringing endorsement. And it all comes down to that golden rule that we talk about so much out here in Luke 6, 31. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also likewise to them. Because really anything less is just hypocrisy. If you're treating others the way you want to be treated, that's what you need to be doing. Well, my best head for today. I appreciate you coming out here again for this time together in five minutes from the sheep coat. But as I head back to Jerusalem, pray, because I'm going to have to watch for bicycles. And whether I like it or not, hopefully you're on the road where they belong. Lord bless. Goodbye. Goodbye.